If y'all have ever uttered the phrase 81 million votes my ass, welcome home. You're a future subscriber here and we want you here. Uh, now look, we got news from the great Republic of Texas. <laughs> Governor Abbott has put razor wire and buoys and sharks with freaking lasers up on top of their heads across the border of the Rio and uh, he's finally taking matters into their own hands. Everybody who's in favor of this, go ahead and hit like right now. <laughs> Bam! That's what I'm talking about, but Abbott is smart. He did this under the Disaster Declaration Clause, which is exactly what I'd have done if I was governor of Texas, and don't rule that out one day, I might just be coming for it. But look, the disaster is the Biden administration. We got over a million homeless right now in America with no food and no water, and he wants to crowd the system even more? Does that sound like it's fair? Plus, encourage Hispanics to risk their own lives and possibly die just getting here. Why does Biden hate Hispanics so much anyway? I mean, it's an honest question we can all ask. Biden's like, hey, Hispanics, you're going to have to run through the gauntlet to get here, cross hundreds of miles in 120 degree weather, no water, no food, no shade, but y'all should totally do it, right? It's like Biden gets off on watching these people suffer. You know, it's just sick. Not to mention the illegal crimes that he's making them commit. Hispanics are not your little hamsters on a wheel, Biden. I'm just going to go ahead and say that. I've always felt like if you care about somebody at all, you never encourage them to hurt themselves and doing what Biden's doing. Biden doesn't care if Hispanics live or die. He just wants to abuse them for cheap labor and then BS all the news cameras when they start rolling, talking about well, inclusion and all this other kind of stuff right here. He doesn't care. I guess it's just hard for me to think about the fact that Mexican families are risking their lives at Biden's urging while his crackhead son is driving all around Delaware in a Corvette with a couple hookers in the back. Here's what I'd say to Democrats. Y'all may not like the buoys. Y'all may not like the razor wire along the Rio Grande. Got it. However, you have no right whatsoever to call it illegal because you're supporting illegal immigrants. Listen to yourselves. This makes about as much sense as calling the cops on your coworker because he locked up his personal fridge and he ain't letting you steal his sandwich for lunch. <laughs> These days, the snowflake judge would probably hear the case, I bet. I never thought we would see American politics this bad ever in my life. I also never thought Garth Brooks would open up a gay bar, but here we are. <laughs> Liberals are so destructive, they're like a young raccoon. What they can't tear up, they just crap all over. Here's the deal, y'all. If anybody does get hurt crossing the Rio Grande, it's completely self-inflicted. It's a self-inflicted wound. Would y'all feel sorry for me if I stuck a fork in my own eye? No one's forcing you to cross into America. My ranch foreman, Pedro, came to the U.S. legally, and he hates people abusing the system because it took him like seven or eight years just to become a citizen. Texas can put 100,000 crocodiles on the Rio Grande for all I care. It is an American right to protect what you have because America is a hot little captain of the cheerleading squad, and you don't send the captain of the cheerleading squad into a dark alley at night, which is exactly what Biden's trying to do. Y'all know how many congressmen? have fences all the way around their property. You know, I say there should be a new law effective immediately. If Texas doesn't have the right to defend themselves, then neither do the congressmen. It should be illegal for them to have armed bodyguards or fences or anything like that around their houses. This administration is going to win the F around and find out award of 2023 if they keep pushing with this treason and the open borders. Good luck telling the Republic of Texas what to do, Biden, because they don't need you. You need them. <laughs> if a woman can leave because a spouse is abusing her, Texas can sure as hell leave and do the same thing to Uncle Sam. God bless Texas. Don't mess with Texas and y'all carry on.